Plutonium is one of the most fascinating and misunderstood elements in the periodic table. It's not found in nature in any meaningful quantity. We have to make it. At its core, plutonium is a heavy, radioactive metal with a silvery-white appearance. But don't be fooled by its ordinary look. With atomic number 94, its nucleus is crowded and unstable, holding a staggering amount of energy. This instability is the key to its power. When the nucleus breaks apart, it releases tremendous energy through nuclear fission. Plutonium tarnishes quickly, changing from silvery to gray, green, or even purple-brown as it reacts with air. Due to its intense radioactivity, a piece of plutonium is warm to the touch, constantly generating heat as it decays. This self-heating is a physical reminder of the immense energy locked inside. Plutonium is a transuranic element, beyond uranium on the periodic table, synthesized in labs or reactors. It's the most famous of these, symbolizing the nuclear age and our technological prowess. Plutonium represents both a monumental achievement and a profound responsibility. Understanding this element is crucial for the future of energy and space exploration. Its story is really the story of the atom, of harnessing the power within matter itself. Plutonium's unique properties have shaped the modern world in ways few other elements have. It stands as a testament to both human ingenuity and the challenges we face in managing such power. Plutonium-239 isn't mined. It's created inside nuclear reactors through a remarkable transformation. The process starts with uranium-238, a naturally occurring but non-fissile isotope. In a reactor, uranium-238 absorbs a neutron becoming uranium-239. Uranium-239 is unstable and quickly undergoes beta decay, turning into Neptunium-239. Neptunium-239 also decays, finally becoming Plutonium-239. This chain of transformations is a cornerstone of nuclear power, turning a common material into a potent fuel. For every ton of uranium fuel used, about 10 kilograms of plutonium are created. This process, called breeding, means reactors not only consume fuel but also create new fuel. Plutonium-239 is a direct byproduct of operating standard reactors. The elegance of this nuclear alchemy is that it recycles and multiplies our energy resources. Instead of being waste, uranium-238 becomes the foundation for new energy. This cycle is fundamental to the sustainability of nuclear power. It's a dance of particles that underpins our ability to harness atomic energy. The creation of plutonium-239 is a triumph of physics and engineering. It's the hidden engine driving much of the world's nuclear energy. Plutonium's main role today is as a powerful fuel source. Its ability to sustain a nuclear chain reaction makes it ideal for nuclear power plants. Plutonium-239 is used in mixed oxide, MOX, fuel, a blend of plutonium and uranium oxides. MOX fuel allows us to recycle plutonium from spent nuclear fuel, turning waste into a valuable resource. This recycling reduces the volume and radioactivity of nuclear waste. Using MOX fuel extracts more energy from mined uranium, making nuclear power more efficient. Countries like France, Japan, and Russia have used MOX fuel for decades, proving its safety and viability. Recycling plutonium into MOX fuel also reduces proliferation risks by consuming it in reactors. The process turns a potential liability into clean energy and enhanced security. Plutonium's role in MOX fuel is a model of sustainability and resourcefulness. It's a key part of making nuclear energy cleaner and more responsible. Plutonium-238 is the unsung hero of space exploration. Solar panels don't work in the dark reaches of the solar system, so we need a long-lasting, reliable power source. Plutonium-238 powers, radioisotope thermoelectric generators or RTGs, essentially nuclear batteries with no moving parts. As plutonium-238 decays, it releases heat, which thermocouples convert into electricity. RTGs are robust, solid-state systems, perfect for missions lasting decades and billions of kilometers from Earth. Legendary missions like Voyager, Cassini, and the Mars rovers all rely on plutonium-238 RTGs. These nuclear batteries provide steady power and warmth, keeping spacecraft operational in extreme environments. 
Plutonium 238's reliable heat output is ideal for deep space missions. It's the silent, glowing heart of our greatest adventures beyond Earth. Without it, much of our exploration of the outer solar system would be impossible. Inside a nuclear reactor, plutonium is both a product and a fuel. Plutonium-239, created from uranium-238, contributes significantly to power generation. When struck by a neutron, plutonium-239 undergoes fission, releasing energy and more neutrons to sustain the chain reaction. By the end of a fuel cycle, plutonium fission can account for up to a third of a reactor's energy output. Every standard reactor is, in part, a plutonium-fueled reactor. Other plutonium isotopes, like plutonium-240, are also formed, affecting the fuel's properties. Reactor-grade plutonium contains more plutonium-240, making it less suitable for weapons but ideal for MOX fuel. Weapons-grade plutonium is almost pure plutonium-239, produced by limiting irradiation time. Managing the mix of plutonium isotopes is crucial for safe and efficient power production. The interplay of these isotopes is a delicate balancing act for reactor physicists. Plutonium's dual role makes it central to the efficiency and sustainability of nuclear energy. Recycling plutonium is a cornerstone of sustainable nuclear energy. Spent fuel rods still contain valuable uranium and plutonium. Through reprocessing, we separate these from true waste using advanced chemical techniques like Purex. The recovered plutonium is converted into plutonium dioxide, then mixed with uranium dioxide to make MOX fuel. These ceramic pellets are loaded into new fuel rods, ready for use in reactors. This cycle transforms a waste problem into a resource solution. MOX fuel rods perform like traditional uranium rods, fitting seamlessly into existing plants. Reprocessing and recycling close the nuclear fuel cycle, maximizing energy and minimizing waste. Plutonium-239 and Plutonium-238 are like siblings with very different destinies. Plutonium-239 is fissile, with a long half-life, making it ideal for reactors and weapons. It sustains chain reactions, releasing vast energy, key for both electricity and bombs. Plutonium-238, with a shorter half-life, isn't fissile. It decays steadily, emitting heat. This makes it perfect for RTGs in space missions, where reliable heat is essential. Plutonium-239 is bred from uranium-238 in reactors. Plutonium-238 is made by irradiating neptunium-237, a more specialized process. The two isotopes' different properties shape their unique roles on Earth and in space. A single neutron's difference leads to vastly different applications. Their story shows how subtle changes in the nucleus can change the world. Plutonium's power comes with immense responsibility. It's toxic and radioactive, requiring strict safety protocols, especially to prevent inhalation of dust. Work is done in sealed glove boxes to protect workers and the environment. Long-term storage is a challenge. Plutonium-239 remains hazardous for tens of thousands of years. Deep geological repositories are the global standard for isolating high-level waste. Policies differ. The U.S. treats plutonium as waste, while France, Russia, and Japan recycle it as a resource. Reprocessing and MOX fuel are central to some nations' energy strategies. International cooperation has focused on reducing weapons-grade plutonium stockpiles. Plutonium's dual nature, promise and peril, demands careful management and global wisdom. Our choices today will shape the legacy of this powerful element for generations.